Hi, Steve Gill with your daily video notes for October 5th, 2011. Well, Hank Williams Jr. was in the news this week after he made some comments on Fox News that got his iconic musical intro to Monday Night Football pulled for at least this week. He's since backtracked and apologized for saying some really dumb things by comparing Barack Obama to Hitler. But he's not the first to compare a president to Hitler. In fact, you've had a lot of folks comparing George Bush to Hitler in the past who didn't get punished at all. In fact, MoveOn.org actually ran a commercial specifically comparing George Bush to Adolf Hitler, and yet they're still out there continuing to be a major player in the Democratic Party. Give a look. <laughs> So a specific ad, not just a comment, that ties President George Bush to Adolf Hitler is acceptable, apparently, to the left. In fact, the CEO of Progressive Insurance actually helped fund the airing of that commercial with his big donations to MoveOn.org. But that's perfectly acceptable because it's not Barack Obama. Now, other folks also trashed George Bush. Bruce Springsteen trashed George Bush in 2008. 2009, the NFL made him the featured halftime performer at the Super Bowl. And Madonna was announced just this week as to be the featured Super Bowl performer this year, despite the fact that she was out just a few years ago telling people that they should all go to Texas and suck George Bush's, well, you get the gist. So it's okay to trash a president as long as it's George Bush. The NFL will embrace you. But if you trash Barack Obama, well, then it's out of bounds and the NFL and Monday Night Football and ESPN will reject you. Nice to know we don't have a double standard in this country. That's your daily notes for today. Stay tuned. We've got more to come.